Hey guys, my name is Donnie and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another exciting video on the Land Rover build. If you guys had seen the previous video, you might remember that we disassembled the whole car into its smaller bits and pieces. And we've then in the meantime had all the parts that we wanted sandblasted, sent out to have sandblasted, gotten them back, got them primed. And we've also in the meantime spent some time disassembling the smaller pieces and restoring them individually. And in today's video, we're going to attempt to start assembling the Land Rover again. But I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you guys what we got to work with. And then we can start working on assembling this car. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, the chassis has now been sandblasted and primed and painted and it's looking brand spanking new. We also got the firewalls and the wheels and everything sandblasted. They need to be painted still. They only got some primer on them. But we've spent a lot of time um, just going through and restoring all of the individual parts. The differentials have been restored. The leaf springs have been restored. Prop shafts and all the little individual components have one by one me and Matthew spent some time taking them apart and cleaning them up and restoring them as best as we can there's still a lot of pieces that needs to be done but we have now basically gotten the bulk of everything ready to start making ourselves a rolling chassis we actually we also spent some time on the motor and the drivetrain just cleaning it up and fixing it up this motor we didn't open it up we just gave it a good service because this engine is in pretty good nick but we just spent some time making it nice and new again and now comes the exciting part where we can start reinstalling all of these newly refurbished parts onto the chassis which is very exciting and maybe get ourselves a beautiful chassis rolling chassis by the end of this video so guys the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start reinstalling those leaf springs we also um or matthew also put some new bushes in the chassis and everything so we're going to start reinstalling the leaf springs and then put the uh, differentials in their place and then we can put the motor back in its spot and start connecting the drivetrain and so on and maybe get the exhaust and so on back in its position and then we can see what it looks like but i'm going to update you guys in a couple of minutes we're going to start with that which is very exciting it's like building lego which is very awesome indeed and then we'll see what it looks like in a couple of minutes
So guys, whilst we're busy putting the Land Rover back together again, we started looking at some color charts and we're going to have to start making a decision on what color we're going to go for for the Landy. Now that was the original color, it's a bit of a khaki color and um, keeping in mind that the wheels are going to be limestone which is a Land Rover color. I would love to know from you guys down in the comment if you had an open canvas like we do, what color scheme would you go for? Would you go for the original khaki color? Or would you make it grey or blue or whatever colour would you like to go for? And also keeping in mind that it's going to have a canvas soft top roof. I would love to know from you guys what colour scheme you guys would go for. Also keeping in mind that the whole thing is going to be painted completely. So we can go for any colour we would want to. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would do. Maybe it will help us make up our minds on the colour scheme that we need to go for for this landing. Alrighty guys, check it out. We've now spent a couple of hours assembling this whole chassis and it is looking brand spanking new. Everything is just absolutely amazing. There's just one more thing we need to do to make this into a rolling chassis. Check it out guys. We got ourselves an actual rolling chassis. We got the wheels on brand spanking new tires. It is looking absolutely gorgeous. We just couldn't help ourselves. 
These wheels are only on here temporarily because we haven't done the hydraulics or anything yet but like I said we simply couldn't help ourselves it is just looking absolutely gorgeous and like I said we got ourselves an actual rolling chassis now this car is really taking shape it's almost a shame that we're gonna have to cover all this up with a body because it is just looking so fantastic Guys, speaking of which, we've got our annual Cars in the Park meet on the 4th of August, which is just a couple of weeks or a week away from today. And I think we're going to take this as a rolling chassis, as a working progress to the show, and also maybe take the Cobra, the body, or how far we've ever gotten with it, to the Cars in the Park meet at SWAT Corps. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to come and meet us and see the cars in person, we're going to be at stand number 29. We'd love to hear from you guys and maybe you guys can just come and visit and see these cars in person. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope in the next landing video, we're going to start working on the body. But uh, until then, thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.